Hi everyone, welcome back to Little Book's Great Stories. Do you like the way books smell and how they feel and the stories they tell? Well, today I'm going to read you a great story from a little book called The Book Hog. The Book Hog is a very interesting character and he could be like many of us, but he has a big secret. Let's find out as we read The Book Hog. The Book Hog by Greg Pizzoli. The Book Hog loved books. And he had quite a few. He loved the way they smelled and the way the pages felt in his hooves. He especially liked the ones with pictures. He picked them up here and there, anywhere he could find them. But the book hog had a secret. Shh! A big secret. He didn't know how to read. He had never learned. He was surrounded by books but the book hog couldn't read a single one. The book hog went to bed every night without a bedtime story. One morning, he went out, looking for more books. He came to a long, low building. He smelled some books inside. He snuck through the stacks, adding several books to his pile. But then... A soft voice said, Would you like to join us for story time? It was Miss Olive, the librarian. Pick out a book and I'll read it with you. The book hog blinked. Then he swallowed. Y you'll read a book with me? Of course, said Miss Olive. As many as you'd like. This gave the book hog an idea. Wait here, he said. He went home. And he came back with some books. Miss Olive led story time, and the book hog listened closely. He heard many stories, some funny, some sad, some kind of in between. Over time, and with practice, the book hog learned to read on his own. He grew to love books even more, not just for the way they looked and felt, but for the stories they told. And yes, the book hog still takes a lot of books, but he always brings them back. The end. I love this story. And if you loved it too, then please come back for more at Little Books Great Stories.